Hello, Real Fluency friends. I'm Trisha, and I'm here to teach you real English using real life so that you can reach real fluency now. And today, I will help you to learn how to use the words some and any. Some and any are used with nouns that are plural or uncountable. Or when you don't know or it doesn't matter exactly how many of something you have. I have some silly hats. Do you have any silly hats? No, I only have one boring hat. So let's review this a little bit and go over this line by line. So I have some silly hats. That means it doesn't really matter exactly how many silly hats I have. And you don't really know, need to know exactly how many silly hats I have either. And then when I say, do you have any silly hats? Again, any, because it doesn't matter how many silly hats you have. And I don't need to know either how many silly hats, if you have any silly hats. If you have even one, it doesn't matter how many. So we can use some and any in those two sentences because it doesn't matter how many. I don't need to know and you don't need to know. It's not relevant. When I asked, do you have any silly hats? If you said yes, and I wanted to know exactly how many silly hats you have, I could have asked, how many silly hats do you have? But we don't use some or any with singular countable nouns like hat. You can't say, I have some silly hat. That's not correct. You need to say, I have one silly hat or a silly hat. In general, some is used in positive sentences and any is used in negative sentences. Using silly hats as an example again, I could say, I have some silly hats. This is a positive sentence with a plural cannibal noun, hats. After asking, do you have any silly hats? A person could say, I don't have any silly hats. This is a negative sentence with a plural countable noun, hats. A couple of sentences with, um, with an uncountable noun, in this case, information, you could say, I have some information about how to buy silly hats. It's a positive sentence with an uncountable noun. Or, I don't have any information about how to buy silly hats. A negative sentence with an, an uncountable noun, information. An exception to this is we do use any in positive sentences when we mean it doesn't matter which. Like, you can watch my English lessons on YouTube anytime. It doesn't matter which time. Just any time. Now let's have a short practice break. Do you see any YouTube subscribe buttons? I see some subscribe buttons. Have you clicked any subscribe buttons yet? You should. Please, 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 please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that yet. In questions, any can be used in positive questions when you don't know about something at all or how much or which. As in, do you know any famous people? Do you have any children? Some is used in questions if you want to, one, offer something like, would you like some hats? Or two, to ask a question, can I please have some hats? Or three, to make a suggestion, maybe you could buy some hats. You could also use some and any and a sentence without a noun if the meaning of the sentence is obvious. For example, he doesn't have silly hats, but I have some. Some is obviously talking about the hats in the first part of the sentence. So I don't need to say, but I have some hats. I can just say, I have some. He doesn't have silly hats, but I have some. Or he sold boring hats but I didn't sell any. 
Now it's time to do some short practice exercises. In the following sentences, one word is underlined. What you need to do is to change that word to make the sentence correct. Number one, he has some big rocket. Number two, he has any big rockets. Number three, I don't have some big rockets. Number four, he has big rockets, but I don't have some. That's almost all for today's lesson. But before you go, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that yet. And remember, you can always sign up to get emails from me to get extra English help. And if you have time, then please stay and watch more of my English lessons here on YouTube. Goodbye, and remember, with hope, anything is possible.